Right, in this video, we're going to be doing the manual muscle test for the middle trapezius. So I'm gonna start by bringing my partner's arm off the table. I'm gonna show him the action. So we're gonna start with the arm relaxed on the edge of the table, but ultimately I'm going to have a little bit of this external rotation just to allow for that arm to be with a thumb up towards the ceiling. And then as he elevates his arm up towards the ceiling, he's gonna be doing retraction of the scapula towards the vertebrae here. So this is horizontal abduction of the arm, but retraction of the scapula as it goes through that action. Okay, so from a starting almost relaxed position, with your arms resting there, can you please go through that action for me on your own? Excellent. Please make sure while you watch that, that some individuals can just do horizontal abduction of the glenohumeral joint and their scapula is not actually moving. So what we're really looking for, and we did a good job of that, is that scapula to be retracting during that motion. Okay. For the break test, I'm going to ask for him to hold his arm up in the air. And again, I'm not going to be pushing down on the arm itself. I'm going to be pushing on that spine of the scapula. So I can see the spine right here. So with one hand, I'm going to push on the spine. And on the other hand, I'm going to go to the opposite side of the muscle and try to push that scapula away. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And now again, from a relaxed position, you can see my hand slid away from my other hand. This one moved. So as he brings his arm up and brings the shoulder back, there's our retraction action. So that was the concentric component of this. All right, so we're gonna be going into the length now for the middle trapezius. Because the action of middle trapezius was just to do shoulder retraction, but more in an upwardly rotated position. What we're gonna be doing is now trying to protract the scapulas and bring them forward. So again, what I'm going to be doing is trying to place my hands along the spine. So this, the angle of the acromion here is an excellent landmark for you to put in the palm of your hand on both sides. What I'm gonna ask him to do is a very gentle slouch for his upper back, good. And now I'm going to be pushing the scapulas forward into a retraction to protraction. So we started off in a slight retraction and then I'm pushing forward into protraction. Plus I'm keeping the scapulas down because this muscle does upward rotation in a secondary action. We want to make sure that scapula is down as we push it forward. So that's going to be the length for our middle trapezius.